Yo, 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 it's your boy Mrx El Guapo, man. Street certified noobs, and we back with another one. Hey, shout out to all of the new subscribers, man. Appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for rocking with us. One of the number one authorities in this street news and this hip hop news, man, is us. We've been doing it for years. We finally decided to bring it to y'all on YouTube. Man, thank you for rocking with us. Also, if you got any suggestions of stories that we should cover, we're actually looking for some positive type of stories to cover. Um, man, put it in the comments, man. Drop your comment. Let us know what stories you believe we should cover, uh, both new and old. Man, and you know what? If we pick your story, you know what I'm saying? We a screen grab it and throw you in the video, man. Uh, today's story, again, man, another sad story. Um, Florida rapper. YNW Melly is on trial or will be on trial very soon uh, facing a double murder and they're asking for the death penalty in his case. The original shooting happened back in 2018 and I believe the story went like, you know, rising Florida rapper involved in a drive-by shooting. Um, he eventually drove his friends to the hospital and that's all we knew, man, for like maybe four to six months. Now in 2019, early 2019, reports came out that uh, the state of Florida was looking at the actual rapper himself as the one who would have committed the crimes, uh, which kind of threw off a lot of people because, <clears throat> you know, we thought he was a victim of the drive-by and that two of his friends lost their life. Um, we didn't realize, you know, what Florida was putting together in terms of the evidence. In 2019, man, uh, YNW Melly, along with uh, another one of his associates who was also in the car with him, um, they were arrested, uh, charged with double murder. I believe they was charged with like tampering with evidence and tampering with the crime scene because they moved crime scenes. They're accused of doing a lot of crazy stuff. We're going to get into that. For the past, say, three years since he's been arrested, we haven't heard much. And, you know, the attorneys for YNW Melly were kind of using the time that he's been sitting waiting trial as somewhat a proof that, you know, the state didn't have much of a case. Usually if they take a long time to bring the case forward, it usually means they don't really have a strong case. Now, fast forward, you know, what I'm saying what well, is three years, four years later, um, some new evidence just came out or the state just presented this new evidence to the defense. And it's only a couple months before trial. So a lot of people are saying that there's a chance that this evidence could postpone the trial because of how crazy it is. And, you know, the state has to give YNW Melly's defense a chance to actually defend themselves against these new claims. When YNW Melly was originally arrested, um, the story kind of went as this. He had two friends in the front, him and a friend in the back. They were driving in some area of Florida when uh, an alleged assailant attacked their vehicle, shot the vehicle up. In the midst of the melee, two of YNW Melly friends were shot and killed. Like I said, um, condolences to the family of those, of those two gentlemen. But those two men were shot and killed. And a video actually had came out. I remember it went viral. A video came out of YNW Melly. I believe it had to be from the hospital. YNW Melly carrying his friends into the hospital. Come 2019, ballistics evidence and all of this new evidence have been processed. We're gonna show some pictures because we actually had the pictures of the ballistic evidence. Um, they were saying that the bullet trajectories were all aimed at the two front seats. There wasn't anybody aiming at where YNW Melly was and if this was a person who was trying to shoot YNW Melly why would he aim at every other place but where YNW Melly was sitting and then when they you know you know they draw the lines man hey listen if you out here doing crime understand these people get paid a lot of money to track and trace every little crack and crevice <laughs> Earlier this year, the state also um, 
I think they motioned to take pictures of YNW Melly's uh, tattoos. What they're saying is that to back up their death penalty case, if a murder was committed by a gang member, like a known gang member, then that's aggravating the charge, which it, which allows them to do something like seek the death penalty. So I, I don't know if it actually happened or not, but they asked for that. They're trying to prove that YNW Melly is uh, a gang member, a known gang member, and he committed these crimes, you know, while being an active gang member. At the time of his arrest, they also um, had a crazy motive, man. Cause you know, you know, the, the public, man, we didn't really understand why would this guy be charged with shooting his best friends or his friends and, and he was in the car with him when the car got shot. None of it really made sense. The prosecution, man, Florida, like I said, all of this is alleged by the state of Florida. The state of Florida is a legend that Florida up and coming rapper kills friends in order to gain clout the state of florida claims that they can prove that after ynw melly killed his friends him and his other friend who was in the car they exited the vehicle they staged the drive-by they took it out in some kind of secluded area they shot it up evidence was also presented from the drive-by shooting that melly and his partner ynw bortland used an alibi claiming that the shooting happened after YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie were killed. It, it was also done by the same gun, which would mean that YNW Melly reportedly shot up the car afterwards. So that was crazy to me. So I guess what they're saying is that YNW Melly kills his friends. He stages the drive by with the same gun, everything. Uh, it, it, it's shaky to me, man. That's shaky to me. That was in 2019. It is now 2022, three years later. That's kind of a long time for them to be waiting on evidence that it sounded like they had day one. Um, For them to present that evidence so late in the case means that um, it must have, it must be, It's. I think it's something going on with this. I think the state of Florida may not have the evidence that they say they have and they may be kind of bluffing because that's usually what happens right before a trial start it's all type shit be real quiet and right before the trial start is this person saying that, that person saying that they trying to offer you deals all type of stuff like that so i think that's that could be that because usually you know a couple months before trial you know they've already did the discovery they've already did all of those things those documents probably if they weren't delivered to the defense at that time they would have known they were coming the defense would have known okay these guys saying they got dna they saying they got this they saying they got that see they really painting a, a, a picture so they're trying to use melly's gang affiliation if he even has one they're trying to use pictures of his tattoos they're really trying to paint a picture of him as like this evil guy and i believe if they had the evidence that they say they have they wouldn't need to do that because the evidence will speak for itself in trial. A lot of times people, if they don't have that, bam, slam dunk, then they'll try to sway public opinion to help them out, whether it's the jury pool, whether it's a lot of different things like that. Um, like I said, man, RPD, those two gentlemen, let me go back, make sure I get their names right. Uh, Anthony Williams and Christopher Thomas Jr. Man, RP them dudes, man, condolences to their families. Um, I really want to see what happens on this thing, man. Y'all, hey, drop a comment, man. Let me know what you think is going to happen in this case. We're not going to really dig too deep because, like I said, the case is still pending. It could go to trial in the next few months or it could be postponed. But let me know what you think, man. Did YNW Melly kill his friends and then set it up to be a drive-by? Or do you kind of feel how I feel, man? I think the state didn't have a, a, a person to blame it on, so maybe they're trying to blame it on this guy. I think that even if they do have small pieces of evidence that kind of tie it back to YNW Melly, I don't believe it's a slam dunk, and that's why they're putting out these press releases and slow rolling on this uh, evidence and stuff like that. You know, that's they're trying to create theater. Uh, so that when they do finally go to trial, they can talk about all of the stuff that happened leading up to the trial. Um, YW Melly, his attorneys have been, you know, quiet doing their motions. You know, they motioned for him to get a release, which was, uh, you know, it was denied. Uh, a lot of the victim's family has sent a statement in and, and there was a lot of people that were really upset that he would try to get a release. That's what he's supposed to do. Uh, it's always better to fight your case uh, out on bond. Um... Don't want to make this video too long. It's your boy MXL Guapo, man. 
Uh, let me know what you think about this whole YNW Melly case after the state of Florida just dropped 66 pages of DNA documents. Man, I don't know why you need 66 pages for DNA. That sound like one document to me. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments, man. It's your boy Emery Shell Guapo, man. Street certified news. We out.